The Hario Coffee Siphon. Is it worth your time and money? Let's find out. Welcome back to Whole Brain Coffee. Today we're gonna to be experimenting with the Hario Coffee Siphon and due to the nature of what seems to be a more labor intensive brewing method, we're gonna be seeing, is it worth it? Uh, I know we had another siphon on the channel, didn't quite enjoy it, so we're gonna try it again. Hario is known for its quality and today we will be using this blue bottle Bella Donovan. We just made this earlier today as well yes. in a pour over. The grind size is relatively similar to uh, drip coffee and even pretty close to the Chemex size. So we're gonna see how comparable they are in terms of taste, efficiency, and just overall quality. Mainly, we are looking to see if the extra effort required, extraordinary effort compared to the pour over. Yeah. <laughs> if it's worth it compared to other coffee brewing methods. Right, right. As you can see, we're just waiting here for the actual water to uh, boil. If you're starting with this water being room temperature, it's gonna take forever. You might as well go read a book at that point. So this water was already near boiling and good luck. All right, so it looks like this is uh, finally boiling. Took a little bit, but now, oh, there's the process. Look at this beautiful work of physics. And Walter White would be proud. He would be proud. So in terms of the instructions, uh, perhaps you notice this was tilted at an angle. Uh, that is what the instructions require. And then once it finally starts boiling, you put it upright. At this point, we go ahead and stir the grounds. Pretty it says well. take extreme care not to overheat. You know, I will say this. I do wonder about I the how. I do wonder about the efficacy of having a plastic spoon in boiling water. But I mean, you can always use a different spoon. It's Japanese plastic. It's better than normal plastic. This is true. <laughs> more durable. That's true. It's just better built in general. I'd say at this point we can go ahead and shut off our heat source. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, I'd say this is more for the adventurous coffee enjoyer. True. Everything's hot, boiling, flaming, melting plastic. There's a lot of risk involved. There's pictures in the manual. I mean, I could show you some close-ups of people literally getting burned and dying. Yeah. In true. the manual saying, do not do this. Yeah, otherwise this will happen to you. So I like, you know, I actually like those kinds of warnings. It doesn't just show, it doesn't just tell you not to do something. It shows you what will happen if you do something. Well, at this point, we're pretty much ready to go. Yeah, so. So now the only thing left to do is take off this top piece. Nice, nice enough to include a little stem. Nice little toilet chain hanging there. I must say, really cool how the pouring part operates. This is true. I think it's interesting. Let me... Would you? Oh, I would, would greatly appreciate it. I do like how this looks, the aesthetics of it, the handle, the cleanliness of the beaker. These aesthetics do look nice. I will give it that. Consistency looks interesting. As we said earlier, we've already had this coffee, so. But we haven't had the coffee through the siphon. Ooh, it is an interesting smell, I will say. The coffee is fresh on my mind still, so I could definitely. Why does it have that weird, it has kind of a burnt metallic smell. Is it? Is something. It smells quite pleasant to me, personally. There's something, I don't know, something seems a little odd about this, this there smell. Are, well, okay, listen, there are some metal parts in here. That's true. There are so some metal some parts components in components may just be... Same problem we had with the balancing siphon. That is also true. However, it is not to the extent as the balancing siphon. It smells pretty pleasant to me, though, personally. You ready for the uh, taste test? Scorching hot. Hmm. I will reserve judgment until this cup cools down and I can actually drink some. Yeah, because at its current temperature, you lose the nuance of the tasting notes that we had. Well, it's just impossible. It. Even after you're done brewing it, you're now left with the scorching, molten lava level of heat yes, in your so. cup. And the problem is you get the regular flavors of the coffee, but one, they're not as pronounced as doing it in a pour over, but then two, you get a little bit of a metallic taste. Why does it taste like metal? Well, you're right. I don't know why. I don't you're know right. if it's the metallic, uh, like the little toilet chain they have going on in there, or like the little like lamp chain, I guess. It's right. like one of those little like desk lamp chains you pull. It looks like a spring almost in there. Yeah, there's a spring. Also the little filter holder is made out of, let's take a metal mesh. Right, and so something is not Wait quite Wait a minute, dude, that's right. weird, man. I didn't notice that at first. You're right though. So that- The palate is more fine-tuned to a tasting metal. <laughs> I guess so. It tastes good. Minus the metal. Minus the potential loss of life expectancy. That being said, this is a better siphon than the one we previously used. And way cheaper. And way cheaper. Like a third of the price. In my opinion, it looks better. 
makes a better cup of coffee. It doesn't even require as much effort. Mm -hmm. It's better in every way. So overall, what do you think we'd maybe give this brewing apparatus on the whole brain scale? So just to be clear, this is not a rating for the coffee because the coffee itself is delicious. We're really looking at the overall efficiency and viability of this particular apparatus and also in relation to that, the cost and in relation to that, the overall quality of the finished product. So all those factor into our categorical scoring system. I would say that I might have to give this brewing apparatus Honestly, I, I hate to say it too, between like a 5.5 and a 6. And the reason being is because it is a cool novelty brewing apparatus. It is really neat. I love the design. I want to give it a higher score, but with the metallic taste, um, the overall cost being what it is, at the highest end I could afford this is a 7, but I mean, I, I just I gotta give it maybe like a, a 6 and just it's not practical, but for the adventurous coffee lover out there, you know, you might want to try something different, not necessarily that good, but different. This might be your cup of tea, or a cup of coffee, if you will. Wow. What about your experience? Well, I'm a very practical guy. I enjoy efficiency, practicality, and just being concise in all things, except my speech right now, which is very long and drawn out. But listen, I would rate this a two. I do not see any scenario where you would be using this every day to brew coffee. It's so no. clunky, it takes a long time. The coffee it makes is not special in any way whatsoever. In no. fact, it's probably worse than your standard, you know, accepted brewing methods. It's just not worth it at all. And this is not a jab at Hario because they make really great things. No, I use great products. I use Hario's V60 all the time. I love it. It's my favorite brewing apparatus. It's probably our favorite on the channel here. And so, I mean, if that speaks anything to Hario's quality, we also use Hario's scale. We love, we love their products. It's just yeah, we love the Hario. Siphon, well, you know. I think it's not even the pro because the product is clearly high quality. Sure, it looks great. Right. All the pieces fit together. It's precise. It's well designed. Just the idea of a siphon, I think, is just has no place really in the inherent lack of proper functionality. I think is what keeps this from being a truly great and enjoyable experience. We had a commenter, a viewer, mm -hmm. leave us a comment talking about the there's a very high end company. It's called I think it's called Royal Company from France. They make very high end balancing siphon coffee makers. I'm talking like ten thousand dollars. Oh goodness! For their entry models, probably something like a dictator would buy, or maybe a three Michelin star restaurant. You know, if you're not a dictator. So anyway, in conclusion, um, unfortunately, unless you're really into aesthetics and really into uh, waiting extended times for brewing, and if you want to really just venture out there, not really worth your time or your money. Have you tried the coffee siphon or others, this siphon particularly, or other siphons? Leave a comment below, let us know your siphon experience, and also please go ahead and consider subscribing because if you wanna see more content like this, that will help us produce such content. We have more coming down the pipeline for you. And wait. Wait. What? Were you gonna say? What did you think I was gonna say? If I was you, I would just tell them straight up, look right into their eyeballs and just say it. All right, fine, I'll do it. So make sure, in fact, you keep using your whole brain.